Yo, what I want, what I want to all my nice and decent people out there. I want to go ahead and talk to everyone about the news. The news that's going on today, and there's some special, special things I want to go ahead and talk about. Uh, one of the main things right now is um, the daddy one and being a man mix up. I'm going to talk a little bit more about about Tommy Lee Sparta being freed. I'm going to talk about that and much more. And I will be right back. Thank you very much for seeing me here on Renegade Crew TV. Uh, thank you very much for coming back. And I'm going to go right into it. First of all, I want to go ahead and talk about the story with Tommy Lee Sparta. It seems like Tommy Lee Sparta is being, has been held. All of you who are a, a Spartan and have been following him and the story about him being um, locked up as a person. Money, fame, fortune, influence. If the police catch you and hold you and lock you up, they just catch you, hold you and lock you up. And that is the case for Tommy Lee. Well, now Tommy Lee has been locked up in prison without bail and without being a, a, getting a chance to get out and mingle and, first of all, deal with his business, deal with his family, deal with his children. You know, and but it seems like now that has all going to come to an end. Tommy Lee is set to be released. So if you didn't know, now you know. All right. So, you know, good luck to Tommy Lee and all of the Spartans out there. And just look out for him. I know it's going to be a real big bashment to St. James when, when he come out. Well, Next thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the issue with huh, it might be difficult for me to go ahead and attack, attack this subject, but I am going to do it the best way I can anyway, because recently I've heard on the news that Michael B. Jordan, yes, T'Challa from Black Panther, has an assistant. He had an assistant. His ex-assistant was being interviewed. First of all, I don't know why an assistant to somebody is being interviewed. He's not that famous. Now, this kind of reminds me of this the, the situation between uh, Mavado and the baker. You know? And here lies another time where a uh, black man is being put down by, can I, should I say, other? And I don't mean to be like that, but it just, it just, it just seems that way. I don't know what it is. You know, he, he reached a certain status, and as he does, then somehow they find a way to try to hold him down. I don't know. You tell me what you think, you know? You know, I I don't know. I don't know the man from Adam. I don't know, you know, from, I don't know him from anything. But that being said, there's two sides of the issue that I have with this. One, if he is, if he is, okay, cool. If he is gay, that's his own, that is whole um, prerogative, right? But this is the issue here. Who was this guy to out him before any, because I have not heard anything about him being um, that way. And if he wasn't out and didn't tell his parents, didn't tell his family and friends or anything of that nature, and then this guy come on and come say something, that I, I think that was kind of jacked up for him to do that. 
Then, on the other hand, if he is it, right, you're telling me that now he can't be nice to someone because if he does automatically be a nice means that he wants to be with him or be with her or any of this thing. I don't know what is going on here. You can't just be nice with people. Now it just has to turn out where, you, you know, it's going to be like the Wild West again where we just have to be mean and angry and, and you know, just jump on anybody for any little thing now and just keep it dry, cut, and clear. I don't know. You come down alone and tell me what you think about that. All right? Now... I'm not even going to say anything further on that because I don't want to, you know, I'm kind of trying to tread lightly on the subject, you know, because I'm not a person who's going to discriminate against anybody for race, creed, color, religion, or sexual orientation. What? That's a for them business. Me not going to bother with that. Me not going to go into that. But at the same time, I like to, you know, I like to say that respect is re where respect is due. If somebody has not done you wrong, don't go out of your way to do something wrong to them for no reason. You know, that, that's all I'm going to say on that. Now, the next thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the Beanie Man and Daddy One situation. Now... Everybody who is a beanie man and a A6 crew supporter. Now, if you if if you any part of the six gang, uh if you know anything about you know squat six boss on the controversy that's been brewing for probably about two years now. Maybe a little less, you know. In two years now between Beanie Man and um, Six Gang, right? Beanie Man was holding a show. And in the show, the Six Gang was invited. Squash, Chronic Lord, Daddy One, so on and so forth. Well, they decided to say, yo, we're not going to go ahead and perform on the show unless we get paid because this was a show that Beanie Man usually do for the fans and when he do it usually the you know, people who perform on the show don't necessarily get paid for being on there. Well all this time be, from the time that he invited them to come on there to the time when the show commenced They did not, I guess, did not inform him that they weren't going to be on the show. It was known, but I guess Beanie Man just feel like maybe he didn't get a personal call from them or he, whatever the case may be, there was a communication barrier. There was a communication drop between the two of them, between the two gangs. And because of that, I guess Beanie Man felt disrespected because they were on the poster, they were on, you know, uh, in, invited, they were probably being, um, they were probably being introduced on an ad for the show leading up to the date of the show. The show happened. Beanie Man still think that they're coming. So he even introduced them on the show. The day of the show, he's introducing them. No one shows up. So I guess he would feel a little slighted and a little disrespected because of the movement or lack of movement that they made on their part. Further down the line, recently, 
Beanie Man and Daddy One Buck Up. You know how that goes. Sometimes, you know, things happen for a while. You know, things has kind of been brewing for a while. You know, Beanie Man, he go to talk to Daddy One and drape up Daddy One. There's kind of a lot of conflicting news on how it started. Some people say Daddy One um, shove him, Daddy One pass him, and they show a book up on him one another. You know, some people say, you know, I've been here and said, you know, that didn't happen. It just beat him and just get up and grab him and, you know, start to, you know, antagonize Daddy One. So words were exchanged, and while they were exchanged, Daddy One said, Go suck you. You know the famous. You know it. If you're a Jamaican, you know exactly what was what that follow. What followed that. Right? And then the next part, some people say that it was Beanie Man. Um one of his his uh, crew members, his entourage. Drip up daddy one. And some say he didn't get drape up, he actually boxed him, tear off him face. Well, now being a man is getting death threats. And this is uh, this is the part where I'm gonna go ahead and interject and say my educated guess on this one. And where I think should have happened in this case. I believe that Beanie Man, yes, he was disrespected. He feel a certain way, yeah, 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 whatever. But it wasn't in a case, and I, and I understand it. It wasn't a, to me, I feel like, you know, it wasn't in a case where he would be losing any money. He may lose face, yeah, but he wasn't losing any money. He didn't lose any money because he wasn't going to pay them anyway, right? And, and I'm sure the six crew didn't feel like, you know what? This guy didn't feel like, yo, we already get out in the area now. We get out in Jamaica. We get out in the, in, in the Caribbean. We get out all about we don't need nobody, right? So they, they, they really didn't need no exposure at the time. Right? So, when Beanie Man see that the one in other club, him being a an older man, him being a bigger guy in the industry, I feel like, and not just in the industry, he's just a bigger man for, for that one. Cause that that one was, you know, if you look at him, he, he look like 21. He look like, a, he can't be no older than 21. You know, as a matter of fact, I, I can't go ahead and research it and, and put that down. But, you know, it's a little kid for being a man. Being a man, what, you know, in 40, almost 50 year old. He's in the business since he's been six, since he was six years old, you know. So he, he knows the business, you know? And him being a inter solid, solid, a solid international, you know, staple in other biz, in a dance hall, in a music, period. You know? Carl be the man get nominated for Grammy and all them thing them on. You know? And for him to go ahead and drape up daddy one before that you know for them to even get to a part where you know words are exchanged i think exact what should have happened be the man should have just let bygone be bygones see him and and in crew come go go sit down and all in should and just say you know you know what here may i buy you a hennessy for the for everybody or a big champagne and just Leave it like that. Water underneath the bridge. And then you know next time he's not gonna invite them to come to no no dance. You know, because there was between that time and now, 
you know, there was all kind of interviews where Beanie Man, you know, kind of saying a couple of words and dropping two cents about them and, you know, the music style or whatever the case may be, you know? So, that's, you know, I don't know. What you, tell me what you think. Write down below. Comment down below. If you think Beanie Man should have just, you know, do what he did, you know, and just go on with the badness, or should he have just let, that, you know, just let it go, you know? Because now it could be a situation where it can get bigger than what it has to be. Because sometimes, even in the music industry, where all oh, where you just get fame and fortune, it don't even have to be anybody that even know that they won. Personally, it could be just somebody who's a fan. Just feel like, say, yo, they want they want to go ahead and, and you know, get Beanie Man for, for what him do. And that's it. You know? Not... Knock on wood, I would not like for any of that to happen, you know. It should not happen. I w it would not like it to be uh, any violent at all, you know. Even that, if he, if he even wanted to, he could have even just have like a lyrical clash, you know. Yeah, a lyrical clash between six bar squash, um between him and Chronicle or between him and Daddy One or you know, and then just go ahead and just do with a case like that. But now it seems like it has gone too far. So I don't know. Go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you think. Hit the sub don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the post notification so that way you will be informed every time I drop a new video. And like always, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye.